like exterminated in a way oh my god all right listen up guys things have changed a little bit in the past couple days in the past week or so things have evolved i know a lot of you guys are thinking about like after you're making the ak-74u class video yes i am new class new weapon it's the same weapon look at that look at the beams from the 74u it is deadly it is deadly up close range it gets the job done man a lot of things have changed not too long ago uh, we've been using the task force a lot i always preach about how good task force is it is absurd how good task force is it is a very broken attachment and right now here i am talking like damn you think i'm using task force right now seems like it right because i am absolutely shredding the comp right now but no i'm not using task force task force is extremely broken pro players wanted out look at this four shot kill bang does the ak-74 you kill four shot yes it does if it doesn't then what are you doing you know lordy look at this gun beautiful gun one of my favorite guns in this game so task force has basically been kind of like exterminated in a way oh my god apathy can you stop oh oh no 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 we are playing raid quick break and i have a harp i just unlocked the harp already like in one hill i have a harp, a harp already and you guys know harp's actually a high kill streak this is absurd i literally load up raid right now and i this has been absurd oh my god this has been absurd an absurd lobby oh my god i'm gonna die i'm gonna die good help good help good help sir extra help beautiful a nice little hop here hit the beams beams chow again beams Look at that. Time to kill, baby. New attachments, new class setup. Absolutely shredding with it. Good help, teammate. Good freaking help, man. So, to go back to what I was saying, basically, the 74U um, Task Force, pro players want it out because it is basically a version of a high caliber. It makes the gun very broken. I've been preaching my class setup videos a lot of times to talk about 74U or in my streams. Use the high, use the uh, Task Force. It is a little bit tough to control the recall at first but it is op and broken use it so we are as pro players and best class setup videos we are using a brand new um 74u class setup and it's different because like i said task force has been basically being tested and pros have not been used in the past couple of days because of how good it is and it's probably not going to be in the meta no longer um for that reason players are pro players are basically going to ban it so this is going to be a brand new class setup and that's what i'm rocking right now on the 74u using a slightly different class and this class is nasty it is not as good as task force because like i said task force makes it the gun even more broken but it's still very damn good let's hit some beams slight cancel check your fire headshot four shot kill you like that i like that now as always guys i'm going to talk a little bit about this barrel and about this class and as always this is very important for you to know so right now i am for the barrel only i'm using the reinforced barrel it is nasty five shot kill range right there four shot kill range right there so basically what the reinforced barrel does is give you an extra 18 percent to damage range and 80 percent to bullet velocity bullet velocity is extremely important in subs and damage range is also very important in subs because damage range is very low on some machine guns and you know to compete with ars or other guns you definitely want a higher damage range so to sum it all up um what's important is that damage range increase right so basically right now with this uh reinforced barrel this gun the 74u has a four shot kill range with this reinforced barrel it increases it no it's, it's about a 7.6 uh four shot kill range 7.6 meters so you think this is seven it's about like right here it kills four shots from here to there don't kill me don't kill me okay but we're gonna do some quick maps really quickly so it goes from 7.6 which is about right here to about 8.99 so you can say a nine so the four shot kill range gets increased a little bit more which is definitely nice you're gonna notice it every once in a while but that's not really like it's not always gonna be noticeable right like that little extra meters won't always be um noticeable in a lot of gunfights but it will help every now and then especially with those closer range engagements but the reason this barrel is also really nice that some people don't like to think about is this barrel increases the five shot kill range so we talk about how the four shot kill range gets increased about nine meters the five shot kill range gets increased to sorry i lagged for a second so the five shot kill range with the 74u it's about 16.5 17 uh, meters right 
So this is about the five star kill range. With the reinforced barrels, it goes about to 21.5. So it goes from around here. Wait, wait, wait. It goes from around here to all the way to like right here. So it increases it almost by five meters. And that is a lot, especially when you're fighting like mid-ish, medium, uh, medium-ish range and challenging a lot of these ARs. Like it is very beneficial. You want to kill faster. That's what Call of Duty is about, right? Getting those kills, man. Look at that lordy. Isn't it awesome, guys? We got the Cherry Blossom camo on a raid. Nice little throwback action right there. So as always, I do like to have my class setups at the end of the video. So I hope you guys understand that. And just enjoy the content, man. Enjoy the tips. Enjoy the knowledge. And then obviously you get the class setup at the end. We're going to push out here. It seems like I'm skipping a little bit. I guess it's a it's a it's a computer issue. I don't know why computers, you know, have these type of issues. What wouldn't, wouldn't really happen in console, you know. Oh my god, look how fast I just shredded those two guys, bro. Enemy deleted. <laughs> That's what my guy just said. Yes, sir. Enemy is absolutely deleted right now. Just running in circles here. 74, you're doing its job. Damn, he killed me, but I killed him first, but his teammate killed me second. It's all good, though. 74U action. Um, the 74U is easily one of my favorite SMGs of all time and in this game. I always say that because it's, it is true, man. I love this gun. I love how it looks. I love how it feels. I love the AK-47. This is basically a baby AK, so you got to appreciate it, man. The, shred, the, the, the time to kill, the shred ability it has, the recoil control you can have with this gun. It is amazing, man. And you know something about this gun that I really want to mention very quickly? This 74U has actually a lot of vertical recoil control. So it basically just shoots up mainly, not much horizontal. I mean, it has a little horizontal, but I mean, quick tip with that. When you're shooting this gun, man, just try to hold it down a little bit, and you're going to beam with this gun. Oh, you know what's funny? If I just shot him, I probably... All right, Apathy, let's see what we could do here. We spot one in the radar, and he gets sniped. We spot it. We see another one. Get him. His teammate's gonna push through. We're gonna revert back. His team, or my team, is getting killed. Go for the trade. Nice little trade. Hit the stim. Chow out. Kill him. Well, oh. All right, good, good trade. Throw a nice little nade here. I'm genuinely curious, guys. If you guys don't mind, I know it's a lot to ask, and I do apologize. Not only leaving a like if you enjoyed the video, but also what is your favorite SMG in the game, especially with the MAC-10 in now? Some of you guys might have, you know, like you like the MAC-10, some of you guys like the MP5. I'm just kind of curious, you know, what is your favorite gun? I feel like we're going to get a lot of MP5s. I love the MP5. Oh my God, look at that beam, bro. The 74U. I think you're safe or never safe. But I'm dead. There's a lot of people at B. There's a guy behind me. All right, we're down by four points. We got a harp in our hands. I think we can easily win this one here. Let's pop this bad boy right away. It's only one guy here. I don't know whether to be upset or... I mean, yeah, the only word is damn upset. Like, why the heck? I'm... At least I have this. Okay. They're running three, two, one. Three, two, one. The pre-fire, sir. I like that pre-fire from you. Dude, harp is nasty. Look at him. Look at him. I see him coming up. Pre-fire. Now this guy's going to turn. Yup, he's gonna turn and try to kill me. Oh, oh, just time. I'm gonna turn back. Uh, I went for the beam on that guy. He, oh, he's 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 coming with vengeance. He's trying to kill your boy. I got him. Your boy don't die that easy. Spawn in the back. Spawn kill him, dude. I killed this guy like three times, bro. Four. He's pissed. Pubs really do piss me off, man. I enjoy pub stomping and slaying. And honestly, the 70 for you makes it more enjoyable. If I was not using the 70 for you, I would not be having as much fun right now. But the fact that I could beam kids like that, that was an AR, by the way. And I just gunned him to bed. He's going to sleep feeling nice, bro. That guy's about to wake up tomorrow morning and be like, damn, I got some good rest. Currently sitting at 71-22, almost 15K score and 10K damage to my name. That was a tough battle. I mean, in the end of the day, you can't have the best of both worlds, right? Like, it's going to be really hard to win with SBMM. So, it's never consistent. It's all good, though. GG's. Fun game. <clears throat> all right, guys. Now to get into the juicy stuff. The AK-74U. So, very quickly. These are the attachments I was running on this gun. And then I like to run on this gun because they are the best. For the muzzle, we got the muzzle break. Now, you can run the Spetness Compensator now that Task Force is not be used. 
but i'd rather control the vertical recoil and have a little bit kick to it than the horizontal because vertical is always more manageable especially depending on the gun usually a higher fire rate gun it is a little bit more difficult but the 74 does not shoot that fast for the barrel we're going to be running the reinforced barrel this is what i was talking about it gives you a good amount of bullet velocity and good damage range and it's really really nice now something i will recommend that some pro players are using not all of them is the extended barrel this is like the thing about you gotta think about this it's half the bullet velocity and you don't get any damage range right so that's where like why are you using this well there's just no cons to it right you lose a little bit of movement speed with this and aim walking movement speed so people would rather just have that fast ads like ads um walking speed so you can use extended but i highly recommend the reinforced barrel we got the sped nas speed grip speed grip is super good on the sub you always want to try to run the speed grip if you can we got the gru elastic wrap just such a good attachment overall and we got the skeletal stock again aim walking movement speed is so underrated hit firing is not that good in this game pre-aiming is the more you know as always guys i hope you enjoyed today's video man make sure to leave a like especially if you enjoyed it i'm trying my best to keep getting that daily content out i hope you all have a wonderful day don't forget to like it like i said and subscribe to the channel i'll catch you guys in the next one and like i said as well leave in the comments below what is your favorite smg at the moment what do you think is the best smg or your favorite smg whatever you want catch you next one guys peace